Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thanks for joining me today for voting video number 352 in the Incredible Mandela Effect voting video series. I can't believe it's been five weeks since I've done a Mandela Effect voting video. I apologize. I've been a little bit selfish. Only I say that because I was doing videos for four years on anything that I was even mildly affected by. But there's been some things that have affected me and I've really been waiting for some that really hit me to do a voting video. And nothing's really hit me in a big way. So, but I, but I feel guilty that I haven't been putting out the voting videos. So I decided, you know, even if <laughs> I'm mildly affected by certain things, I'm gonna start doing some more. I miss doing the voting videos. I miss communicating with everyone, you know, through the comments and everything. So crazy times that we're in. And it's actually because of these crazy times that this next Mandela effect has presented itself. So just be real quick before I get into it, anyone who wants to look at my older voting videos, there's 351 of them. And then there's another 200 videos on top of that. But I have playlists here on the channel if you haven't been to the channel in a while. I read it all the playlists. So here we have... This uh, Turkish public broadcast, this gentleman says exactly how I remember this particular university, and it's been popping up a lot lately with all the COVID-19 talk. So listen to this here. In Italy, Michael is a professor of international economics at John Hopkins University. Michael, thank you so much. So he's a professor at John Hopkins University. That's how I've always known the university my entire life. It's always been John Hopkins. Never until about a month ago have I ever heard it called anything else. So I have some examples here. Uh, here's a Yahoo Finance where they talk about John Hopkins University. And yeah, right here. Uh, we got according to John Hopkins University talking about COVID-19. Um, here's a fsnhospitals.com, and they remember John Hopkins University. Here's WebMD, Physician Directory. They remember John Hopkins University. So there's lots of reality residue uh, in the books here. You know, you have lectures delivered at the John Hopkins University. Here's a book. You've got a whole bunch of books. All the books have John Hopkins University on the front of them. So they're all wrong. Never been John Hopkins University. You can go on to the second page here of books. And it just continues. John Hopkins University. Um, on a whole bunch of books. Newspapers. Oh my gosh. There's, it says 5 million. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually 5 million John Hopkins University. If you recall John Hopkins University like I do, please thumb up the video. But if you recall Johns Hopkins with an S, let's bring it up here in a newspaper. If this is what it's always been for you, please thumb down the video. So if it's always been Johns Hopkins University, go ahead and thumb down this video because that's never what it's been for me. So I believe this to be a Mandela effect. Thumb it up if you recall John Hopkins like I do. So that's about it. Real quick voting video today. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately about the Mandela effect and how there's so many people that have never even heard about it yet. They don't even know that reality can change, that it can shift. I mean, it's just amazing you know, what's gone on. And, and, and you know, I, I know a lot of us have gotten used to it because years have gone on now and, you know, we have to go on with our lives. So we've just become used to it. But it really is amazing all the people who don't even know that reality can change. And we're all shifting at different times on this stuff. You know, I had a guy recently say that he remembered Country Road by John Denver. Country Road, take me home. It was never Country Road for me. I sang that as a kid. My aunt used to play it on the guitar. I've known the song my whole life. It was always Country Roads, Take Me Home. So 
That's not a Mandela effect for me, but it is for other people. And, you know, I learned early on to, uh, <laughs> to not be arrogant and say, well, that's not a Mandela effect because I know that it's country roads. And so it can't be country road for you. I mean, <laughs> you know, that's one good thing about us here in the community on YouTube that we know that you don't need to take that position. That's a, like, that's an idiotic position. It comes from ignorance of not understanding what's going on here. And I'm sure there's some people not experiencing the Mandela effect that would, you know, take offense to that. But, oh, well, that's too bad. That's their problem. Uh, this is a real phenomenon that we're experiencing. And a lot of people just have to deal with that, whether they're experiencing it or not. So, yeah, this one was really good. I have some other ones, so look for some more voting videos. Let me know if you want me to continue with the voting videos for the Hear What You Want. I was going to go back and do a few of the, the older ones that are really mind-blowing. But I haven't done that yet, and I don't know. I don't know if they're really well-received. I know people keep saying, you know, what's this got to do with the Mandela Effect? It, it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the Mandela Effect. It's actually been around for a while, but it's kind of ramped up, just like the Mandela Effect has. I mean, I don't remember there being so many things that you could just hear different ways depending on how you wanted to hear it. So to me, that's a new phenomenon. I'm sorry. I don't mean a new phenomenon, but it's a, it's a phenomenon that's increased. Maybe that has to do with the Schumann resonance and all the increasing that it's done the past few years. I don't know. But let me know. Just give me a comment down below. So that's it, everyone. I hope everyone stays safe. And... You know, all my best during these difficult times. It's a lot more difficult for some people than others, you know, having lost their job and everything. But this will pass like everything else and hopefully sooner than later. But that's about it, everyone. As difficult as it may seem, I'm still going to ask you to go create the reality that you want. We still have choices. I know in times like this, it's kind of hard to see because we didn't ask for this to happen to us. But we're living in a collective reality, and within it, we have choices. So you can look at this in a negative light or find a way to deal with it positively by spending more time with the kids, you know, going inside yourself, do a little meditation, uh, turning within, taking advantage of this opportunity. You know, some of us have more time than we ever thought we'd have during 2020 and you can turn that into a positive so i'd recommend that but that's about it everyone so go create the reality that you want and i'll speak with everybody soon <laughs>